Hi, I'm Matt Hill. I'm the curriculum designer here at MRU. This is the slide walkthrough videos where I sort of just go through the slides to let you know kind of what we were thinking um, with the particular slides, how you would go through uh, this unit plan. So we're doing day one of our intro to economics unit plan. This is the first day of, uh, of class. And so the question we want, the bell ringer we want to start with is just thinking of a TV series um, that your students gave up on. So you just want to ask them, everyone has a show that they wish they would have gotten out of sooner. Um, and then you have them thinking about, all right, you know, the show was a waste of time, presumably, if they wish they had given up on it, or maybe that they actually did bail on the show. I have plenty of shows. Actually, I, I pride myself on my ability to recognize when a show has gone bad and I get out because I'm an economist and I understand the concept we're going to be teaching here. But anyways, ask them what they would, you know, is there something that they would have rather done instead? Now, this is leading up to you know, the idea that, you know, you have a finite resource here, your time, and it is valuable. And so if that TV show, if it wasn't worth it, that means there was something better. There was something else that you could have done with your valuable time. And here we have our first definition of economics, maybe the best definition um, in, uh, in our opinion, is that, you know, we have unlimited wants. You know, there's millions, billions of things that we would want as human beings, as a uh, society, you know, we want, I, I want a Ferrari, I want a Lamborghini, I want a nice house, I want good food, but we have finite resources, like time, like money. And so it's all about, uh, you know, what, what economics is all about is sort of how do we make those decisions? How do we allocate those resources, uh, resources to those ones? So at the macro level, we're thinking about the society, like, okay, what are, where are the resources going? And at the micro level, it's about decision making. Okay, how do I decide what to do with my time or money, my limited resources? And so there's always a trade off. Anything you do, you are trading, you are giving up uh, something. And so we have to weigh the cost and benefits. You know, ultimately, that's how decision making um, within economics should be done, whether at the, at the societal level or the individual level, figuring out exactly what the trade-off is. What is the benefit? What is um, the cost? Okay, so back to the TV show. The cost there, now you're not giving up money necessarily um, when, you, uh, when you're watching a TV show. I mean, maybe it's a, a subscription or something like that, but that specific show, it's not like it costs you money usually. But what you are giving up is your time, which is why we, at the beginning, prompted the students to say, all right, what could you have done with your time. And this is the idea of opportunity costs, which is the value of your next best alternative. So basically, what exactly are you giving up? So in the case of the TV show, you are giving up what you would have done instead, the best thing that you would have done um, instead. And this is the opportunity cost. And really, this is something that most people, you know, don't necessarily consider you know, the cost of their time or the cost of driving somewhere, the wear and tear on their car. But this all goes into um, the cost of doing whatever that thing is. So in the case of the TV show, it's, it, it is the opportunity cost of your time. And this is really our first big idea. And just to drive it home, you know, you can ask these discussion questions. Is the opportunity cost of studying on a Tuesday night the same as a Saturday night. Now, of course, the opportunity cost is higher on a Saturday night because your time is more valuable. The next best alternative on a Saturday night is usually, I don't know, maybe, maybe you know, maybe, you know, there's something, something great going on on a Tuesday. I don't know. But usually, you know, there's a lot more social activities on that, on that Saturday night than the Tuesday night. So the opportunity cost of studying on Saturday night is much higher because the next best alternative is more valuable to you. How does the concept of opportunity cost explain airlines offering increasing amounts of money to bump customers off overfilled flights? Well, when the airline gets on, if you, people have had this experience, you know you're you're on a you're you're about to board a plane. The plane is full; it's overbooked, and they say, "All right, we're offering vouchers um, for people to give up their ticket." Maybe they start with like I don't know, two hundred, three hundred, whatever, whatever it is. And when you're saying no to that, you're saying the three hundred dollars isn't worth it. It's not worth my time to have to stay here a little longer. So that $300, it's not worth it to me, you know. 
the my the opportunity cost of my time is higher than three hundred dollars. And so they keep bumping it up, keep bumping it up, keep bumping up those vouchers. And at some point, I'm going to say, you know what? I will take the voucher. That money I'm going to get for giving up my ticket is worth it for the time that I'm going to be stuck wherever I'm stuck um, longer. Okay, then we have this uh, just a little matching activity where students have to match uh, this side, the left side, to basically the next best alternative, the opportunity cost. So if you are doing an unpaid summer internship, what is the opportunity of cost of that? Well, you can't, if you're doing the internship, you can't be earning $15 an hour working at an ice cream shop in the summertime. So you would match the summer internship to that. That is the next best uh, alternative and this that that matches best to the internship that's what you're giving up you're giving up all the money you could make at a summer job to do this internship and so you have to weigh all right does the benefit of the internship exceed you know what i am giving up which is all the money i would earn at the ice cream shop and presumably the free ice cream um all right here are the answers all right then we have a video that goes over sort of the next big idea so the first big idea we want to drive home is opportunity cost and then the next big idea that we want to, the next two big ideas we want to drive home is marginal thinking and the sunk cost fallacy. So we have that video. You would play the video. We have some questions uh, during the video to find marginal thinking on the margin means compare the blank with the blank. And then we go into the other big idea, the third big idea, the sunk cost fallacy. Sunk costs are blank costs that are blank to decision making. So let's go to our answers here. So marginal thinking, we define marginal a little bit more, but a little bit less. So it's important to think on the margin when you're making decisions, and the video covers this. All right, you really want to compare that marginal benefit to the marginal cost. Where people get in trouble is when they compare sunk costs, costs that they can't get back. And this is the sunk cost uh, fallacy. So you think about you know, you, you, when, when your students get older, maybe they'll, they'll experience this when you're in a relationship. You've been in the relationship for five years. You want to compare the marginal benefit of that relationship to the marginal cost. But oftentimes people say, oh, I don't want to get out of this terrible relationship because then the five years would be a waste. But that's a sunk cost. It's already gone. You just want to think about the marginal benefit and marginal cost going forward. Back to the TV show. If you watch five seasons of a show, people think, oh, you know, I got to keep watching the show. I've already watched five seasons. No, 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 no. Marginal benefit versus marginal cost. Is this show that has gotten terrible, if I keep watching it, is the marginal benefit of, you know, watching that next episode, does it exceed the marginal cost? Most cases, no, just bail on the show. Okay. Most shows, when they go bad, they don't get good again, in my experience. All right. Some more discussion questions. How is marginal thinking different from comparing total costs and benefits? Again, you want to think about the next benefit versus the cost you're giving up. You don't want to think about all those previous costs that you can't get back, right? Another one about the airline example. In July, 2022, Delta offered passengers 10,000 each to get bumped from a flight. Imagine you were a passenger with a ticket for that flight. Your later flight option is for 24 hours later. So you got to stay an extra day. What is the marginal benefit of accepting the voucher? Well, the marginal benefit is the 10 grand. You are going to get 10 grand. What is the marginal cost? The marginal cost is all right. My time for this 24 hours, whatever else I have to spend this 24 hours that I that I wouldn't have spent. But most importantly, my time. What am I going to do in that day? Okay. And that is going to vary by person to person. For some people, hey, I wasn't doing anything that day. Wasn't going to do much. So, hey, $10,000. Great. All right. For other people, hey, you're missing your brother's wedding, your sister's wedding. You know, that marginal cost is very, very high. Okay. Would you take the voucher? Now, again, it may it may depend. So the students may say, well, it depends on what I'm doing that day, which is probably the right answer because your opportunity cost isn't going to be the same. It's going to depend on how valuable that day is. How valuable is what are you going to be doing a day? Yeah, for me, for most days, I'm not doing anything that's worth $10,000. So I'm taking this more often than not. Then we have an interactive practice. Actually, let me see if I can click on this and go there. So this is interactive practice where people have to identify, the students have to identify if this is a sunk cost or not. So for example, this first one, you bought a non-refundable $100 ski lift ticket, but after hitting the slopes for an hour, you are freezing cold. You're deciding whether to go home. Is the ticket a sunk cost? All right, so let's think on the margin here. You're on the slopes. It's freezing cold, all right? 
what is the marginal benefit to staying out? Well, however much you might enjoy, um, you know, skiing. What is the marginal cost? Well, it's whatever you would have done in that time. Notice the ticket doesn't come into it. It doesn't matter. I'm not getting the ticket back. You know, I can't go, hey, hey, give me a refund, you know? So the ticket here is a sunk cost. It should not enter in to that decision of whether to keep skiing or not. It's just, does the marginal benefit of keeping, uh, keeping staying on the slopes exceed the marginal cost of staying on the slopes? This is not a sunk cost. Oh, no, sorry. This is a sunk cost. This is a sunk cost. You're not getting it back. Okay. All right. There we go. Correct. All right. So, and then let's, let's just do one more. You signed up for a seven-day uh, free Netflix trial, but your card will be charged $15 after that. It is the sixth day, and you're deciding whether to continue after the seven-day trial. Is the $15 a month a sunk cost? Okay. So notice I haven't paid the $15 yet. Okay. If I go past the seventh day, I get charged the $15. So the $15 is a marginal cost. If I keep going, I will get charged the $15. If I stop, I get it back. Okay. So it's not a sunk cost. I get it back if I bail on the Netflix subscription. Correct. Look at that. Two for two. All right. Okay. And then finally, with an exit ticket, we asked the students, what's the opportunity cost of taking this course? You know, get a little meta with it. Hey, what are they giving up? You know, maybe it's usually it's probably they could take some other course at the school instead. All right. Maybe the opportunity cost is low and that they have to take it anyways. But in this case, just getting them to think through the actual dynamics of what they are doing uh, at this moment. All right. That is day one of our intro to uh, economics. Again, hitting those big ideas, opportunity cost, marginal thinking, sunk cost fallacy. Go to day two uh, now. If you don't already have the unit plan, there's a link on screen. Or if you'd like to move to the next day, check out the next walkthrough video.